Several years ago, we bought a 1960s fixer-upper that needed a lot of love. So over the past few years, we've been going room by room and turning this house upside down. We've nearly finished all of the interior rooms in this house, so now we're ready to turn outside and put our attention on this sunroom. And if you've been following our journey, you know that this sunroom started looking way different than it does today. And it wasn't until a massive hailstorm that we found out this room wasn't actually up to code, which gave Andrea the chance to completely redesign this space. But now, over two years later, Andrea would like to give this room a facelift to make it more functional and more beautiful. In the last video, Andrea made a ton of progress in this laundry room, including buying new cabinetry, a ton of DIY projects, and even painting the cabinetry. And this week, she's ready to finish off this makeover and do a grand reveal. The only problem is there will be some major roadblocks. We're still waiting for the countertops to arrive, Bro. And the Texas weather is going to do its best to stand in our way. This is scary. So join us for the ride as we attempt to finish off this laundry room makeover. All right, paint is all good and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the cabinet door and the new hardware. What happened back here? That wasn't there yesterday. Did you do a bunch of stuff? Without telling me again? Maybe. Couldn't help it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Surprise! The first thing I needed to do was attach the door, and thankfully, this was super quick and easy. I need your expert design opinion, babe. Oh, okay. You got it. Option one. Okay. These look familiar. These are the ones we just used at the Roberts house, but I ordered the wrong size initially and I missed the return window. So we have a box of these. <laughs> nice. I also have one of these. I'm gonna let you choose. Switch it again. I think I like the pool. I'm just kind of a drawer pool yeah. kind of guy. I was pretty confident you would choose that. So I said, I'm gonna let you choose, but really this is what I was gonna do. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> I only have one little drawer pool to install, so it doesn't really seem worth going to get like my drawer template. But if you're doing more than one, it's really nice to have a little template. Once I had everything measured and marked, I went ahead and drilled the holes and installed the new hardware. The new hardware was looking beautiful, but Andrea wasn't done pulling out new shiny things. I'm gonna show you what I got. Look what just came in the mail. Look at this big dog. Ooh, I better not pretty. drop it. Isn't that pretty? Yes, very pretty. It's so pretty. So we're doing black countertops. They finally came today to measure, and we figured out that our old sink is not gonna oh, work oh, as an oh. undermount sink. Buddy. Congratulations, somebody lucky. It's too deep this way. Like, not the actual sink itself, but the these like lip parts and so it'll hit um, the supports and we won't have room for faucet so I've been on the hunt online trying to find a new sink that can get here really fast because nobody has them in stock in town of course I'm just hoping we can like finish this project in time this is gonna be our big time thing is trying to get the countertops all right now that I've got the cabinet all finished and the hardware is installed the next thing I need to do is start getting this place cleaned up because it has gotten just a little bit out of hand First, I organized and cleaned up all of the random junk on the floor and then needed to vacuum this space because our back door does not stay shut and so a lot of leaves and dirt get blown in from outside. After I finished tidying up the first side of the room, I moved onto the other side of the room and this side was mostly just large cardboard boxes that needed to be taken out before I could vacuum everything. All right, so I wanted to take a quick pause while Andrea's working outside and say it's 2024, it's a brand new year, and that's usually the time where people come up with new goals for how to get in better physical shape, right? You might commit to a new workout routine or even sign yourself up for a triathlon. Oh my gosh. So tired. But a lot of people actually overlook their mental health or the health of their marriage. You see, back in 2021, I was actually encountering a level of exhaustion and depression that I had never experienced before. I mean, it was debilitating. And after just basically suffering through it for a long time, a good friend gave me some wise advice and said, hey, why don't you go see a therapist? So I actually started meeting with a therapist for the next several months and it made a huge impact on my mental health. And then shortly after that, Andrea 
and I decided that it was time for an upgrade for our marriage. And so we actually started seeing a therapist as a couple for our relationship. And those sessions actually worked wonders to help move us past some of the ruts we'd fallen into over the past 15 years of marriage. And it helped us get to a place where over the last year, we felt more connected than we ever have in the life of our marriage. So if you're struggling personally or your marriage is struggling, I really want to encourage you and say, now is the time to actually take action and do something about it instead of just kind of waffling around in the pain. And if you need a place to start, then I would recommend checking out BetterHelp, who is the sponsor of today's video. They're actually offering 10% off of your first month of therapy when you use our code DIYWIFE. BetterHelp aims to make starting therapy easier and less intimidating because BetterHelp actually lets you have sessions over the phone as a phone call, through video messaging, or even through text, just whatever you're most comfortable with. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, which often gives you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your local community. To get started, you simply fill out a questionnaire that will ask you about the challenges you're currently going through and what kind of therapist you would like. And then BetterHelp can match you to a therapist who can help you. In fact, in many cases, people were actually matched with a therapist within 48 hours. And if for any reason you feel like your therapist isn't a good fit for you, you can actually switch therapists with the click of a button at no additional cost. So I wanna challenge you in 2024 to make this your year to better your mental health, to better your marriage. And if you like, you can join over 4 million people who are already using BetterHelp to start living a happier, healthier life. So you can use our link in the description below or go to betterhelp.com slash DIY wife for 10% off of your first month of therapy. After vacuuming, it was time to give these floors a good mop, which honestly doesn't happen very often. I just noticed when I was cleaning up a mess on the floor out here that Crud Cutter actually cleans it really well. The tile's kind of hard to clean. And so I'm curious to see if I can get like the dirty little walkway because it's like all of our traffic goes right through the middle. So it's a little darker right in the middle, but curious to see if this works better than just like my normal mopping solution. After we finished cleaning up the sunroom, we had a delivery on the front porch. The thing came in. Please don't be broken. Woo, it's not broken, that's good. I have had a sink come broken before, like it's like the corners chipped off of it, and so <laughs> I'm gonna check it before we drive this to the countertop place. And after checking the sink, it was time to take it to the countertop place for them to install it, but this proved to be a little more difficult than anticipated. You're so strong. Oh. Ow. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Would it be better to just go out the front door? Look at that office. Oh, am I still filming you? Yeah. What? Here, let me get that for myself. My job is to film you, not to do the work. Oh. This could end badly. Yeah, the yeah. Front, door. front door's bigger. Leg burn. Okay, here. I beat you. Look, <laughs> we have so many doorways in our house. <laughs> that was complicated. <laughs> good job, good job, I'll meet you. Oh. I feel like my glasses got stepped on. They feel a little crooked. Whoa, it's mobile took the lay in here. <laughs> my goodness. All right, so we are heading to take the sink to the countertop place. We're gonna see if there's any possible way for them to cut the countertops this week. Because when we initially went in, they said they were booked up through the end of the year because we are aiming to finish this project before we leave town for the holidays. Yeah, so when we first went in, they told us they were completely booked through the rest of the year and they wouldn't be able to get this done until after Christmas. But I asked them, since it's a smaller project, if we bring the sink and then we can also pick it up and install it ourselves, is there any way y'all could get it done? And she said, that's a lot more likely. So we are really hoping for the best here. <laughs> Good luck, babe. Yeah. I believe in you. Don't drop Say that. A little prep for me. Hey, all right. So we could be in business. Okay. She said, not tomorrow for sure, but call back the next day. And That's they'll see about getting it done maybe by next week. So she's saying there's a chance, okay? Yeah! Let's, let's 
slim chance. There's a slim chance that we could actually get this job done before the holidays. That would be amazing. It's a mess. Film that mess. I'm filming that mess. I would say that we are a mess. <laughs> would you agree? I'm gonna blame it all on you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And unfortunately, two days later, we realized that we weren't going to hit our deadline. Hey there, this is Dean Davis, and we're just going to call here on Friday and uh, see about countertop stuff. So anyways, hope you're having a good Friday, and I'll talk to you later. Well, that's not good. Didn't even answer. And before we go any further, we want to pause and share a really exciting announcement that could involve you. I am actually preparing to mentor 25 students who want to start a quality YouTube channel in 2024. I am super excited to actually open up an online YouTube mentorship program. And within this mentorship program, I'm gonna lay out my whole system for how I approach YouTube. He's been preparing for this for so long and I'm excited for him to get to pour into more people because he really does love doing it. And so if you're someone who's been excited about starting a YouTube channel and you think you might wanna be a part of this YouTube mentorship program, then check out the link in the description below. And you can sign up for my newsletter where I'm I'm going to be sharing more about my journey on YouTube as well as letting you know all of the details about the upcoming mentorship program. Next, it was time for a project that wouldn't exactly be straightforward. Oh man, you want to know how long these have been in our garage? Long time. Yeah, for like four years, maybe five years. What is the issue here? This one only has half of the doorknob. Darn it! I wonder if it's in a different box out there. Look at that! I have even more. <laughs> this is, I'm glad I didn't throw these away. All right, so we are going to be changing out the door hardware in the sunroom. And I'm not honestly sure why I haven't done this yet because, like I said, I have had this for like five years. And we've changed the hardware in every other room of the house, but not this room. Guess we knew we were saving it for this day. That's, that's what I'm going with, but let's start pulling off the old hardware. It was way past time to replace these door handles and get them functioning well, and it felt really good to finally check this off the to-do list. So I need to actually chisel out a little bit so that I can put this just a little bit lower because right now the door latch is not quite catching and so the doors will come open which is not ideal when this room is air conditioned. And so I'm gonna chisel out just a little bit so I can lower it, you know, like eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. Give it a whirl. Moment of truth. Hey! Oh, this is so nice. No more open center door. Once I had the handle all installed, I moved on to installing the deadbolt and the strike plate for this was much larger so I also needed to chisel out some space for that. Let's do it. Yes. Shuts, it locks. Yes. Now nobody can steal our new washer and dryer. Do people do that? No. I just mean, I haven't really ever cared that much about locking this room. One door down, one to go. <laughs> I followed the same process for door number two and in about 10 minutes, I had brand new hardware installed. Finished. Hey, good news. What? Countertop place called. <gasps> and the countertops are ready. We have time to go, right? When are they close? In like an hour, we better boogie, baby. Let's go now, let's go now. It was a beautiful sunny day outside, but we didn't have any time to waste because the stone yard was closing soon and we had a long drive ahead of us. Truck ready. You think we're gonna make it on time? Yes. <laughs> he didn't sound very confident. <laughs> yes, question mark. <laughs> we're hoping for the best. And with the shadows lengthening, we made it to the stone yard just in time. But our hopes were about to be dashed to pieces. How's it 
going. Uh, we have the, like the little black strip with the undermount sink. Yeah, it's not ready yet. We'll probably get to it soon. We'll have it today, but tomorrow it'll probably start cutting it. Hey, hey, come on. What are you looking at? trying to see if peace we picked is still over there. <laughs> so slightly dejected, we made the long drive back home. Oh man. Well, that was a waste of 45 minutes or an hour, you know. Sad. It is a little sad. That's a tough pill to swallow, especially when you're on a time crunch, you know? Yeah, well, it's just the drive. It's like a 25 minute drive one way for us to get there. And so to drive and realize that it's not actually ready, that they got it mixed up, I was like, Okay. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we will try again tomorrow. All right, hoping for a miracle. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Hey there, this is Dean Davis, and I was just calling to see if our uh, stuff had been cut yet. Anyways, just give me a call back. I appreciate it. All right, bye-bye. Until next time, <laughs> the story goes on. Unfortunately, we would have to wait a lot longer than we first anticipated. Since there ended up being quite a delay getting our countertops cut, they went ahead and delivered and installed them for us and I was really glad to not have to do this myself. First, they brought all of the countertop pieces inside and got them set in place. Next, they glued the undermount sink in place. And finally, they applied a sealer to the entire surface of the countertops. Thankfully, in the end, installation went smoothly and everything looked amazing. How good does this look, huh? <gasps> I feel like I've waited for this for years. <laughs> it's so pretty. We were like so out of budget the first time when we really got to rebuild this space. And so we had the temporary wood here, but the plan was always to replace it with a real like hard surface countertop that's really durable. And I'm so excited to have an undermount sink too, so I can like wipe the stuff into the sink. Ugh. So pretty. Look at this. Can you believe this is granite? It has like kind of a soapstone look to it. It's so pretty. I love it. Could we uh, pause that dryer over there? It's a little loud, you know what I mean? Thank another you. day, another load of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> That's our motto. Another day, another load of laundry. All right, so what's the next step? I would love to get this sink set up and running. I may have gone ahead and screwed the faucet to the countertop so it's just set in place and then I like screw the piece underneath it yeah I noticed you didn't wait for me on that right I know there. well I set it in place and it's like leaning all crooked and I was just made an executive decision that's what I did hmm. next it was time for Andrea to put on her plumber's hat which is not always an easy one to wear are you supposed to do this which way does this go dang it all right, so this is the fun part of installing the sink faucet. Some of our pipes were attached to the previous sink, and so I went and bought another piece, and I got the little adjustable one just because I measured, and the six inch, six inch connector piece was probably like a half inch too short, I think. I may watch a couple of YouTube videos to see. I thought this needed to go this way, but I think it needs to go this way. <laughs> you sound really confident. <sighs> But for now, I can like mostly set it up. So I've got my plumber's putty and I do plumbing stuff so infrequently that I just buy a new little thing every time I do something because I can't find where mine is. So this is for my little drain basket up there. You just put a little bit around that and then we'll get that installed. We'll get this hooked up. We'll get the water hooked up and we'll cross our fingers and hope that everything works. I feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh. <laughs> And you filming. Hey, would you quit messing around and get to work, okay? Okay, so I've got the little drain. What do you call that? I don't even know what that's called. I got it installed, except I need one piece right here, because right now the water is probably gonna just come out right here. But I can go ahead and hook everything up and test the water and make sure I don't have any other leaks. I'm gonna try turning the water on. I just have this feeling that I'm gonna turn it on and it's just gonna be like, psh. <laughs> I really hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Can I turn it on? Yes. Oh. Okay, one, one down. <gasps> you are a plumber. 
So I'm putting a towel right here because I know this is not gonna hold water and that'll just make it a little bit easier. But this is an easy fix. I know how to do that. Moment of truth. Woo! It works. Do you feel like this is the first time I've had everything go really smoothly? Like it's working and there's no leaks. <laughs> Success. All right, next I'm gonna install this towel rack right here. That way we have a spot tan towel to dry our hands, which we've never had out here. So that's gonna be really nice. I ordered this towel bar months ago and I'm so excited to finally be installing it. Does it look okay? That looks great. So it looks straight. That's what I need to figure out before I tighten it on there. All right, next I want to paint the mats in a few of these picture frames I have. I've done this a lot whenever I have a mat and I wanna keep the mat, but I don't like the color of the mat. Like in this case, it is a super bright white. It's like wider than my walls and I just don't love it. But I would like a nice warm neutral that's not white. So I'm gonna take the mats out of a few of my picture frames and I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint all of them. This is a cool trick too. If you like, if you have a frame and it has a mat, you could actually change the color with spray paint. Once I got all of the mats out of the frames, I was ready to go outside and start painting. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, it's so windy, it's crazy. All right, so the key with this is to do really light coats. And so my first coat's already dry on these, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray a second coat and we'll see if that covers enough, but I might need a light third coat. All right, next I need to cut a piece to go on this little back right here. So I'm gonna measure real quick and then hopefully I can find a piece of scrap wood that will be pretty easy to cut. And after bringing the board inside, Andrea decided to test out a few design ideas. Have it be shorter and it comes like right here, like up. After solidifying a plan, Andrea was ready to head back outside only to discover that the wind again was causing her problems. Oh no. Oh, I think it looks okay. I'm gonna take these inside before my cats <laughs> blew away. I used the same white that I used in the rest of the sunroom, which is Benjamin Moore's Simply White. I'm using a paper plate as my paint tray because I couldn't find a paint tray. Now I just gotta make sure I don't let go of it so it doesn't blow away. That it? Well, I'll probably need a second coat. I mean, I'll need a second coat. I'm gonna let that dry, but I'm gonna set this out of the wind. All right, I have one last thing that I wanna spray paint and it is this little ceiling medallion. Look how cute this light is. I found it at Target online actually, but when I install my light fixture, you can see some of the wood cut out. So I got this little, it's just a ceiling medallion and it'll cover up the extra and then my light will go on here. But my light is brass. Mm. So you can kind of see. So I'm gonna spray paint this brass and I think just the brass spray paint will hopefully be close enough. It's so windy. This is literally just leftover brass spray paint that I found in there. I can't even see what it is. It's it's rust oleum and it's something bronze. It's like the worst day ever to spray paint outside. <laughs> All right, so my other dilemma that I brainstormed for a little while is how to attach any kind of electrical box into my wood ceiling that does not have studs next to the hole. What I'm gonna do is have this scrap piece sit up inside my ceiling and I'm gonna attach this to it and then this is what my light attaches to and my wires from the ceiling will come through the little hole that I punched out here. So I'm gonna attach this to my scrap piece and then set this up in the ceiling after I attach it. All right, so before I put this up in the ceiling, I think I wanna go ahead and attach this part. That That's the part that like this light fixture will actually attach to because I can't think of any reason why not. I might have to undo it for, I don't know, but I don't. I can't think of any reason why I would. And then that's just less time that I'm like, you know, looking up at the ceiling because that makes my neck hurt, so. 
All right, so I got it up in there. I'm gonna situate it perfectly, and I'm actually just gonna shoot a couple of brad nails to hold this in place. And I did check my wire is not anywhere close to where I'm gonna be doing the nails, because what you don't wanna do is accidentally shoot a nail up and like nick your wire. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause and go do the second coat of paint on my little backsplash piece there because I want it to dry so I can install it. And once again, the weather would become a factor. You feel that cold wind? Oh my gosh. It's coming in. The storms are brewing. This is scary. Texas, y'all. That's crazy. Go, baby, go. It's cold. Oh, there's leaves blew in here. Scare. How oh, scary. Oh, shoot. That's why I should have waited to put that piece on. Darn. It was a nice try. This little piece will not fit through that hole. It needs to go on top of that, so. And Andrea's problems weren't over yet. No! <laughs> What's wrong, Spider-Woman? These screws are too short now. Things just aren't really going our way today, huh? The plumbing worked. Yeah, that's true. You're right. That was a good choice. Hey, just remember, red on black, friend of Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. <laughs> That's some electrical wisdom for you. Uh, hopefully everybody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> but eventually, the hard work paid off. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes! How exciting would that be? Nice. How's it look? Awesome. Oh, it's so cute. While I wait for the paint to finish drying on my little backsplash piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put my artwork into these frames and I got asked a lot when we did the office and had artwork where I get print. I get most of mine either from Etsy, there's a shop I like on there, I think it's called North Prints. They just have a good selection. Or Juniper Print Shop, if you want a place that will actually print them for you and they print it on really high quality paper, their prints are just awesome. They're a little bit more expensive, but if I want to have them printed and I have time, then I will look at Juniper Print Shop. I like their stuff too. But these are all just ones I got on Etsy that are less expensive and then I got them printed at Walgreens. I like that a lot better. I just like how the, like, more of the taupey beige color. I don't know, it's just something different from white, especially since I have it against white walls. I don't have a thing against white mats, just sometimes I want something different. And as the rain started to come down, I repeated the same process for the last two frames. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and try and attach our little backsplash piece and I found this little scrap piece of wood in our garage. I'm actually gonna nail this here so that I can then nail my little backsplash piece to this and hopefully that'll work. All right, so I just decided that I'm actually not gonna nail that backsplash piece into place because I put it there and it's kind of just held there, but that way, if I need to access behind there, I can pull it out really easily and I'm not like having to pull out nails and redo the nails. And so I attached that little board back behind it and that's what it's leaning up against, but it can't fall forward because the washer and dryer are in front of it too. And so I'm gonna leave it like that because I think that's probably a smarter decision. After finishing my last DIY project, I was ready to add the finishing touches to this space. Finally, after weeks of work and weeks of waiting, this laundry room makeover is complete and I love the way everything turned out.
Well, man, how incredible does this sunroom look? And I feel like you totally nailed your aim on this, which was to make it more functional and more beautiful. And you crushed it on both fronts. Woo. Yeah, not only did it turn out beautiful, like I love every detail. I love the paint color, I love the new countertops, and the new faucet is just so awesome. But I am so excited about the washer and dryer. We didn't even get like the fanciest ones they, there are, but my washing machine cleans our clothes now and it's, oh my gosh, I have been saying for the past few years, I'm never buying a front loader again. I don't care if they look better. <laughs> and my goal was to get a top loader and still make this space look nice. And I feel like I did even better than I was hoping that I yes. could. And I love that cabinet in the middle. That's probably like my favorite change is having that little cabinet there because I have just enough room for like all of my laundry stuff in there and then some, I'm loving it. So in the sunroom, we've gotten a new mini split for air control. We've gotten a whole new laundry space and of course, We've remade the sink area, which looks incredible. And it's really given us like a whole new feel for the sunroom and laundry room. We can use it now in any weather. And it's added 300 livable square feet to our house, which definitely ups the home value just in case we put this bad boy on the market, okay? So as usual, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in another DIY project very soon. trying to create this like really cool kind of vibey look and you're like picking your nose. I wasn't picking my nose. Actually, if you wanted me to. Could we make it look cool? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> we gave up on cool a long time ago. And now we just go to Chick-fil-A. Apples make me burp. Well, how amazing does it do? Oh, oh. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, plumbing can be a real poopy job, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? I don't like poop. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it out. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's weird. Oh, now it feels like the putty is... I'm pretty sure I got... Here I am talking about mine expiring, and I'm pretty sure the stuff I got... Look at this. Can you see how, like, crumbly? It is not supposed to be crumbly like that. That reminds me of something. <laughs> Hey, where's your plumber's crack? I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a real plumber, are you? Nope.